What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. I'm really freaking stoked about this video because today I'm gonna be trying out some Shop Miss A makeup. I've done a video like this in the past. It was maybe like a year or two ago. I know it was in my old house and you guys seemed to really like it back then. Recently, I've had a whole load of requests to do another one, a more updated one, because apparently you guys have been saying that they've come out with a whole load of stuff that I need to take a look at. So yeah, I bought a ton of stuff. I think I maybe spent around about 50 pounds or so, which for that website, I mean like a lot of things are a dollar. So to be able to spend 50 quids, that means I got a lot of stuff. And that's basically down to the fact that I did buy pretty much two of everything. So like two foundations, two concealers, 10 highlighters, give or take. They just had so much stuff compared to when I last looked. So I thought while I'm here, why not pick up two full faces? So if you like this video, let me know because I can do another one. Yeah, I really, I really did buy a lot of stuff from them, huh? So if you guys don't know about Shop Miss A, I'm about to change your life because basically Shop Miss A is an American website, but they do ship internationally. I'll get into like the shipping and everything in a second. Basically, the majority of their stuff is just $1, which is like, what, like 80p for us? Granted, some things are a little bit more expensive. Like I got this little set here of liquid highlighters. I feel like this maybe cost me like $6 or something. And then I got this palette, which I can't remember how much it cost. Let me check. Okay, so I've got my order up here. Let me just scroll through. So yeah, literally the majority of things were a dollar. I've got, okay, this self-made eyeshadow palette was $10. But even still, like, I don't really know how they can make a palette this size with this many shades for $10. So, I mean, I still feel like that's a pretty good deal. Like, look at that. This set here was $5.55. And then a few of the base products, like the concealers and stuff, one of the concealers was $1.55, and then this foundation here was $1.88. Yeah, the subtotal was $64, which worked out to be around about 50 pounds. And then the shipping is the pricey bit. So the shipping cost me $31.95, but I'm pretty sure that's just mostly down to the amount of products I bought. So if you only picked up like a few bits, then your shipping will probably be less. Don't quote me on it, but that's what I think. Okay, so it says I spent around about 71 pounds on the actual website, and then I had 20 pounds for like, whatever you call it, custom. So I spent 90 pounds, but I did still get a lot of stuff. Like I'm not mad about it because I did still buy a whole load of stuff. And as long as it's good, then I'm happy. So yeah, enough of me rambling on about all that boring shite. Um, let's try this stuff on. All right, okay, uh, all right, okay, all right, okay. Return of the Met, Oh, McDonald's. Miss you, love you. All right, I'm excited. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go in with this priming spray. So this is just called Primer spray for smooth, even skin. And it says special edition, cost me $188. So I'm guessing that's how much it cost me if it says on the box. They do have a few different brands on Shop Miss A, by the way. Um, what brands have I got here? I've got a lot of AOA stuff, which is like Shop Miss A's own brand, I think. And they've got a few other things that I know they had a brand called like Amuse or something. What's this here? Yes, yeah, so they've got like this product here from Amuse and then another product here from Amuse. So I think the majority of stuff that I got was either from the Amuse brand or mostly from the AOA brand. But yeah, I saw this and I wanted to give it a go. They also had one that was like a setting spray, but it was completely out of stock. Can I open this up? There we go. Let's see, does it have a smell? Does that smell of anything? Oh, it does. It's kind of like watermelon. Okay, so I'm gonna spray that all over my face. It's a bit of like a kind of spray, but that's fine. And I'm just gonna just lightly press that in my skin. It does feel like something. I know it should, cause I, I did just put something on my face, but normally I find priming sprays just kind of, they don't really feel like much, but this actually do, do, do what? This actually does feel quite hydrating. So, 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 so I give up, man. I, I'm done, I can't do this. So far, so good, right. Let's continue. All right, so next up is a product that I'm most excited for because this looks a lot like the NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. And I mean, again, these were like one, one pound 20 or something. So I got the shade Sand and I got the shade Pure Beige. Let's have a look. So this one here is in the shade Pure Beige. That looks like it might work. Let's give it a go. So I'm gonna drop some of that on my skin. It says it's a buildable satin foundation. So I'm gonna do like a half and half. I'm gonna apply it like the same way I would with the next one. Just like some squiggles. I'm gonna turn on my macro lens. Oh yeah. All right, now let's go ahead and blend this bad boy out. Smells nice. It smells very kind of clean. Okay, that color's actually pretty decent. And that's applying quite nicely. It looks like it might be a little bit more matte than my usual, but that's definitely doing something there. That looks good on my skin so far. I'm just blending that like everywhere. 
Yeah, look at that. That's like fully even me out. Okay, I'm going to take some more because it does say it's buildable. So obviously I'm going to go in with like 12 layers of it. Okay, building it up is a little bit more tricky because then you can start to kind of see it on your skin. But once you do kind of blend it all out evenly, it does look pretty good actually. Like my lovely neighbor's just decided to start revving his engine for absolutely no reason. So if you can hear that, you can say thank you to him. Okay, let's blend this side out. I do think I prefer how it looks on my skin with like one layer, but I do kind of prefer the coverage of two layers. Surprise, surprise. You know what? I'm sorry, but that looks pretty good on my skin. It's not like the most perfect flawless face in the whole world, but I am more than happy to have this on my face. And I am definitely more than happy about the fact that I spent like just over a quid on it. Okay, so now we move on to concealer. So I have this guy here. This was 155 and it is a natural finish. Uh, liquid concealer says it's non-drying, creamy and long wearing and it has a medium to full coverage. And I got it in the shade buff. By the way, I didn't mention it before, but everything on the Shop Miss A website is actually cruelty free as well. And they do like little charity things. So like, yeah, it's called like the Paw Paw Charity or something where it's like when you buy something from that range, the money goes to charity, like to animal charities. I think that's so nice. So yeah, this is what the concealer looks like. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's actually a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Don't say it. I know what you're thinking, so am I. Where's my sponge? Lost my bloody sponge. How the hell did I lose my wet sponge? Literally just had it. Oh, you know what, screw it. I'm using a different one. I don't even care anymore. Okay, I'm lying, I do care. I'm just pretending that I don't. Okay, I got a new sponge. So I'm gonna take some of that on my sponge. Let's see what this can do. Color looks pretty decent. It was quite tricky to actually get the right sort of color just from looking at the website, but I just kind of went for like my usual sort of shades. Okay, that <laughs> there's me like the color's decent. I've got the most palest under eye right now in the world. Okay, that is full coverage. <laughs> wow. Right, I'm gonna take a bit more and I'm gonna go over this spot here. Hell yes. Okay, this stuff is intense coverage. I was looking at it because it said like natural finish or something on the packaging and I was like, mm, maybe I should use another one. But okay, no, this stuff is good. I can't get over how full coverage that is. That's like nothing was really covering up that spot here the other day. And now it's just gone. It's just bloody gone. It doesn't even look too different to my normal base, to be honest. It just looks maybe the tiniest little bit it's not cakey, but just a tiny little bit more cakey. If this looks even half as good at the end as how it's looking now, then, oh my God, I'm so into this. Okay, so now another product that I am so stoked for is this guy here. So like I said, this cost me around about $5 or so. I did originally want to just buy one of them on their own. Again, I think they're like a dollar or something, but they didn't have them in the shade that I wanted. Hence why I bought five. Yeah, these are called the Glow Baby Illuminating Drops. And this one here was the color that I wanted. It is called Morning Glow. Let's have a little look here. Nice. Okay, it looks a little bit more subtle than what I was thinking originally. But I'm just gonna dot some of that on my cheek and then blend that out and we'll see what it can do. Okay, at first, I think it was like almost about to lift off my foundation a bit. But because they are both quite like oily consistencies, eventually they did kind of like merge together. That has definitely given me a little bit of a glow there though. Like it's not as metallic, like I've got my Iconic London drops here. Like it's not as properly metallic as these are because these are literally just like liquid chrome basically. Like if I just blend that out just really roughly, then you can see the Iconic London ones are a lot more glowy but that still looks really good. It just made my skin look really kind of glossy looking. Okay, so now I'm just gonna even myself up a bit. Mmm, mustache. I can't get over this base at the moment, guys. Like, what the hell? There are people out there that spend $50 on a single product. I've done it, but I bought two full face worth, and so far, it looks great. Oh, before I forget, I also have a little cream contour stick. This is the AOA Sculpt Effects Contour Stick in the shade Clay, so they do like a few different shades of this. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of little dink, 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 like that. Oh, cute. And I'll just blend all of that out as well. I actually thought this was gonna be something that really kind of wore me up, but actually it's given me like a little bit of cheekbone there. All right, let's go here and here again. It's a lot more cool tone than I thought it was gonna be, but it actually seems to be working in my favor right now. I kind of rate that, you know? I mean, I would normally like something a little bit warmer for me personally, but that's actually kind of worked in my favor. It hasn't done anything major. I haven't suddenly turned into like a Victoria's Secret model, 
but I got slightly more cheekbone than I originally had before, so I'm happy about that. So now I'll move on to powder. Now this could either go absolutely fine or very, very wrong. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm always so skeptical about new powders. So this is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. Um, I just got it in matte translucent. It's like this, like I'm really enjoying my base right now. This could make it look really cakey. I hope it doesn't, I really do. So I'm just gonna tap some of that into the lid, just like so. And okay, I'm gonna take some of that on a fluffy brush, not taking too much. And I'm just gonna make sure that my under eyes are all kind of blended out so there's no creasing or anything. And okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and just set this down. Okay, it is a very matte powder, I can tell instantly, because I really didn't use that much there at all. And you can definitely see that it has mattified it down a lot. Let me try this side. I'll try and do it on camera a little bit more for you. Like, I'm really not using much at all. And it really, really mattifies everything down. But it looks pretty good. It doesn't look cakey or dry or anything. It looks matte without looking dry. So I'm just going to go and do my usual with the powder. Just kind of focus it mostly around here on my chin. And then I'll just dust the rest around the rest of my face. Okay, it's looking a little bit dry around my nose there. Let's just take the rest of that on a big fluffy brush and just set down the rest. It looks fine though. It maybe looks a little bit dry around my mouth and around like where I've got a few slightly larger pores, but overall it looks like it looks fine. There's not really too much wrong with it to be honest. This is absolutely fine. It's just a little bit more mattifying and a little bit drier than what I would probably prefer. But I mean, for a dollar, this is a lot better than a load of other powders I've tried. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now I have this palette here, which is from the brand Amuse. It says it's a three in one blush kit. So it's got a contour, a highlight, and then a blush. I mostly got it for this shade here because I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the contour and bronzer shades on the website did look very kind of either dark or red toned or super cool tone, but this one looked pretty decent to me. So let me just swatch this highlight as well. Okay, that actually looks all right. I mean, it looks a little bit, why did I even swatch it like that? Why do I do swatches like this? It's like I try and make it as awkward for myself as I possibly can. Let's do that there instead. So it's a little bit chalky, but it's got some sheen, which makes me happy. So then we've also got this blush, which looks so kind of like hot pinky, but actually when you blend it out, looks all right. So first of all, I'm gonna take a little angle brush. I'm gonna go in with this contour shade, which I think realistically, it's gonna be like a contouring and bronzing shade for me. So let's pop that on. Okay, it's not gonna be a contouring shade at all because it's actually quite orangey, but that's fine. We can blend it out. Okay. Mm, I can't say, I'm, oh my God. I can't say I love this. It's like, it's one of those things where it's not, it's not too bad. Like I've done so many testing videos in the past now that like, I've tried the good, I've tried the bad and I've tried the downright ugly. This is like fine. If you take a light hand, then you can just blend it out and the warmth just kind of looks fairly natural. But if you did do like a heavy amount of contour, like using the shade on yourself, then it would just look very kind of orangey. But I feel like if I just put it on the top of my face and just kind of bronze with it instead of contour, it looks okay. Like normally I wouldn't have picked this up if I wasn't doing like a full face of makeup, but obviously like to do a full face of makeup, I need a full face products. I don't necessarily rate this, but again, it's so cheap that there's really like nothing wrong with it. So I'm just gonna take the teeniest, tiniest little bit of this blush cause I'm a little bit afraid of it. And kind of just pop that on top before I go in with highlight. Yeah, I mean, it looks absolutely fine on the skin. There's no issues with it. I'm just not, it's just not an overly like, amazing product, but for a quid or whatever the hell it was, it's not bad. Okay, so now is like my favorite time of the day. So now I'm gonna be on to highlighter. So I picked up two of the Velour highlighters in two different shades. I got one in, one in the shade Sometimes, this one here. And then I also got one in the shade For You. They look pretty much identical. One just a slightly little bit more warmer than the other. And then I also spotted this Powell lighter in the shade Nebula. So it's like a little loose highlighter. Guys, I seriously, I just love cheap makeup. I love it. My favorite thing is when people are like, oh, like, I love your lipstick, where's it from? And I'm like, Poundland, Primark. Just love cheap makeup. Okay, so let me get a little swatch of this. Whoa, okay, it's a bit tricky to swatch because it is obviously a loose powder. But I don't know if you can see that properly, but that looks really good in person. Okay, let's try some of this. 
I'm gonna tap a little bit in the lid there. Okay, I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna swirl my brush in there, tap the excess off, and I wanna get like an angle for myself. I wanna get it on camera here, and I wanna get it on camera here, okay. Cost me a dollar. Cost me like 80p. Are you mad? Come off it. That, that's great. I put a little bit too much on, but is, is there such a thing? Oh my God, that's actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be good, which is why I kind of like prepared myself, but I didn't think it was gonna be this good. Let me just blend out the edges there. That's stunning actually. Yeah, I definitely recommend these. Wow. So then like I was saying, I've got these velour highlighters, so I'm just gonna use the shade for you, which looks like a slightly kind of warmer shade. So let's just swatch of that. Oh my God, it's like a mousse. No wonder they call it a velour highlighter. That's literally like a freaking mousse. Hmm, doesn't look that good on my finger, but let's try it. I'm gonna try it with a brush. Okay, this is definitely more of like a cream highlight than anything else. This is such a weird texture, okay. I'm just gonna buff that on. Are we like... Are you... Are you seeing this? This looks really good. It's a different kind of vibe. This is a lot more metallic-y. This is just kind of like... I feel like this actually looks a lot more softer and almost kind of like nicer. I do prefer this, but this is... This is a weird product, man. It's properly like, let me see if I can show you. Like it's really kind of like, moussey and creamy almost, but it blends out like a powder. Some bloody witchcraft here. Like I'll pop it up there. And at first you apply it and you're like, oh, mm -mm, not sure I should be applying this with a powder brush, but actually as you kind of buff it out, it works really well. Let's do a little something on here. Oh my God, I'm, I love cheap makeup so much. Okay, let me just try, cause now I'm like on a roll here and I've just got highlighters everywhere. So I'm gonna try this guy here from that palette. And I'm gonna do a little dusting on the tip of my nose. It smells like old ladies. I say that way too often in videos. I know I do, but it really does smell a little bit like an old lady. And I love it. Like I ain't saying that's a bad thing, I love it. This highlight is pretty as well. I know I probably had a little bit of that mousse on there at the same time, but. That's really pretty too. What the hell is going on here? How the hell are these people out here? Like when I originally tried the makeup like two years ago, it was good. Like there were a lot of good products there, but this is, this is different. Like a lot of these products are just very good in general. It's not like, oh yeah, it's good for $1. It's like, no, it's just good. I think I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Where's the second one? I always sneeze in twos, what's happening? Ah. Okay, I have noticed from sneezing that my concealer under my eyes is creasing a lot, but maybe I just need to add a bit more powder to that or something. I am fully blown away by all of this shit, to be honest. Yeah, if you're in the market for a new highlighter and you're on a budget, try these out. These are weird, but in a very, very nice way. Like, highly recommend these. If you just want a powder highlighter, freaking get your hands on this shit right now because it's really, really good. Might even put a little bit more on my face. Why not? Pop it on top of that mousse. I go into like a weird like creep with highlighter. I'm like. <laughs> okay, so now I'll move on to my brows. So I have two different brow products here. I have the AOA Go Brow Fiber Gel in, I think I got it in like dark brown or something. Yeah, dark brown. And then I also have the Sculpting Brow Gel from AOA in also dark brown. So I'm just gonna do my usual with this. It's just got a spoolie on one side and then one of the angle brushes or angle nibs on the other side. Let's have a look. Color looks pretty decent. It's quite like a nice cool tone brown. So I'm just gonna brush my brows up like I normally would. Obviously now that they're microbladed, I don't really need to fill in much at all anymore. I do need to get my top up, but obviously isolation, I ain't going anywhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna fill in a few of these little sparse areas that I do need to get topped up. Okay, good color. So far so good, ladies and gentlemans. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with those brows. Ain't nothing wrong with them. At all, that's nice. And it, I really haven't used much of that. So now we're gonna try this brow gel here. Ooh, okay, so it says it's like a fiber brow gel. So I'm just trying to see if it has like the little bits of fuzz in there. Yes, color looks pretty decent again. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows at like the arch mostly. And then 
just kind of brush the rest of that through the front. It's quite a dry product, but it's definitely doing the job. Like normally these kind of brow gels, they do have a bit more of like moistness to them, but actually this seems to be working quite well. It's giving my brows a nice little bit of texture. I think that looks really good. What the hell? How the hell do these people make these products? For so cheap. I'm so happy with how this is looking at the moment. All right, so now move on to this palette here. So obviously I got it because of the greens and blues, but I don't actually know what kind of color I want to go for. Let's do a couple of swatches. Okay, this silver looks so nice. Wow. Uh, okay, let's do this like minty green color. Oh my God. Um, okay, this these are actually a lot nicer than I thought they were going to be. And this blue, okay, that's quite chalky but the pigment is definitely there. In fact, that's actually a... <laughs> what? Okay, silver. Okay, that one looks a little bit chalky, but still it's like a freaking like pastel mint. Mm. I would like to use this silvery shade because I tried it in a previous video and the silver wasn't quite up to scratch. So I'm gonna try this silver and I think I'm gonna do some kind of like baby bluey, little bit of this little bit of something, baby bluey, silvery kind of smoky cool tone look. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to go in with this minty shade here. So there is a lot, like, I'll show you. There is a lot of kickback there, but again, it's like however many shades for like eight pounds. So I'm just going to make sure I tap all of that off and I'm going to start just by stamping that in my crease. and just bring that outwards a little bit as well. So like starting in my crease, but then feathering it outwards onto my brow bone a bit. Yeah, boy! Thanks so much. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, obviously it's like a super, super pale color, so it's not necessarily gonna be like ba-bam, but I don't know, as I'm building it up, it actually is getting quite a bit more intense. So now I think I'm gonna take this blue shade here, so using the same brush, and I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. I just basically bring that down a little bit more so into my crease, and then I'll start to blend that into the mint green shade. Mint green, mint gr blue, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Ooh, <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that out with like that. Very nice, those colors are actually looking six so far. So now I really don't know how this is gonna go, but I would really, really like to put this shade somewhere. But I don't really know where, and I wanna use the silver. I haven't really planned this video out too well, to be honest, that's fine. Let me try this. Right, I'm just gonna pop that on my head's corner first. I'm literally taking the tiniest amount because I don't wanna screw this up. And I already have. I just don't wanna get like in my crease, but it's okay. And blend that out in a second. It reminds me of that episode of Spongebob where it says, bring it around town, bring it around town. You know, if you don't know then I'm really sorry because right now I'm just making no sense. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this isn't that pigmented and it's very kind of like kickbacky. <sighs> oh my God, please don't ruin my base. No, 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 no. Okay, we're safe, we're safe, it's cool, don't worry. Don't stress. All right, so one thing I now know that I do want to do is take this shade here, because I'm really, really curious about it. It's like this super kind of highlighter shade. And I'm going to pop that right in the inner corner. Stunning, beautiful, lovely. And then also right up on my brow bone as well. I mean, it's nice, but is it quite the AOA Power Lighter? No, 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 nothing can beat this shit as far as I'm concerned. Let's amp it up a little bit. Boom, there we go. God, I really need to clean my makeup brushes. Okay, so now I'm going to try out this silver shade here. So I'm gonna take that on a flat brush and I'm just gonna make sure I've really coated that there. Top off the excess and I'm gonna pop that right over the center of my lid. And just kind of just like swoop that on like it's a cream almost. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. It's a nice silver. I don't understand how people can't like cool toned eyeshadows. I'm like, they're like the sexiest things ever. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that like super cool toned kind of gray brown shade that I was using and just wiggle that on the outer corner just a little bit more to deepen it. 
So now I'm going to take that same taupe shade and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to buff that out. And then I'll take the tiniest little bit of that mint green shade again, just to make sure we haven't forgotten about it. And I'm just going to make it pop a little bit more up around my brow. So now I have some liner. Now I never normally use liner, but I thought I would try this out because I mean, everyone, everyone wants a cheap liquid liner that's like good. So I thought I'd give this a go. It is the She Makeup Matte Eyeliner in the shade black. Let's have a look at you. Oh God, it's got one of those like really kind of stiff nibs. Um, mm. I mean, the end of the nib could be better. Like it just doesn't look that sharp. I might even give it a little snip because it has got a couple of little tiny bristles that I feel like maybe like that, that might work. Let's try that instead. Okay, that's a bit better. <sighs> I haven't used a liquid liner like this in so long. I'm just gonna do the tiniest little bit. Okay, I can already tell you that I don't like the brush of this. Cause it's so, so scratchy. The liner seems quite black though, but yeah, the brush really isn't that good. I don't even know if you can call it a brush cause it's just so stiff. I'm just having to do like patting motions instead. Yeah, I feel like this definitely feels like a $1 liner. The actual liner formula seems okay. It's just that the, the applicator is just not good. It just makes it not very easy to make a straight line. It's just not that fun to use. So probably give that a miss. Although saying that for so cheap, the actual formula seems all right. So if you can get around the actual nib, you could even obviously use just like a little like actual liner brush or something, or maybe you like these kind of nibs. If you do, then that's cool. The formula seems all right, but for me, I'd rather it was in like more of a softer kind of nib or like a felt tip or something. So now for mascara, I have the Amuse Pro Big Mega Lash Waterproof Mascara. So it looks like this, a pretty kind of standard mascara brush. So I'm gonna run that on my lashes and see what we can do with that. Let me just give it a little wiggle. Sometimes they need a little mix around, don't they? Obviously I had my lashes um, tinted and lifted for the whole lockdown thing. Um, they're staying really, really well, but a few of them are getting like unlifted. So a few of them are like going all over the place. This mascara isn't great. Again, $1. Can you complain too much? Not really, but yeah, it's not anything I'm like, it's not doing anything major to me. Let's do my bottom lashes. I don't like this all of a sudden. Mm, yeah, I'm not feeling that. I don't really like it too much. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying, you can't complain too much because it is so, so cheap, but I wouldn't really recommend it to you guys. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to lashes, which obviously in my usual form, I'm gonna do them off camera. So what I have are the uh, AOA Natalia black lashes. They look like this. They're very kind of like, they look a little bit like um, my Giselle ones that I like from Huda Beauty. And then I also picked up the Super Strip Lash Adhesive, which is $1.88. Thought I'd give that a go. So yeah, be right back. I'm just gonna go ahead, pop these lashes on, do the other eye, and then we'll do the lips. Okay, so I should probably tell you guys that I'm gonna be buying more of those lashes. I cut off quite a bit of them. I cut off like, I don't know, like a centimeter ish of them. So I did turn them into like slightly more corner lashes, but I love them. They're a little bit more dramatic than like my usual everyday lash, but like they're still very kind of like wispy and everything. But yeah, I'm really into these. And I mean, they're a freaking dollar. So yeah, 100% getting more of those. And the lash glue was good as well. Like I've been using this, oh my God, I shouldn't even show this. This is disgusting. I've been using my Duo Lash for like so long and it still takes a really long time to dry. This stuff, you know when it normally says like, leave for 30 seconds, you end up having to leave it for a few minutes. This actually dries in like 30 seconds, it's really good. All right, so now we'll move on to lips. So what I have here is the Wonder Lip Liner in the shade Nude. Actually looks more, okay, it looked a lot more like orangey and peachy than I thought it was gonna, but I might just like overline my lips and then go over the top with the lipstick that I wanna use, just so it doesn't like smudge or anything. So let's just see what this is like. This is definitely not a nude, this is definitely a peach. I mean, it's, Pretty creamy, it's quite opaque. I mean, it's it's nice, it's just not the color that I, well, it is the color that I ordered, but it's not how it looked on the website. I'm just gonna like, just line my lips with that quickly, just to say I've done it, and just so I can kind of try it out. Okay, not loving that lip color with this eye. Okay, instead, let's try this. So this is the AOA Studio Lipstick in the shade Coconut. I'm pretty sure it's a matte one. I usually buy matte lipsticks. So I don't know why I wouldn't have bought one this time. So yeah, this is a very kind of like brownie toned lipstick. So let's have a look. Okay, it doesn't look matte, but that's fine. We can mattify it. That's a bit more of what I wanted. So I'm gonna pop that all over and like 
go over the lip liner. It's not the most opaque lipstick in one swoop, but you can build it up easily. Okay. Mm I mean, I probably shouldn't have put that lip liner underneath because now I've just got like an orange kind of rim around my lip. So I'm going to go in with the brow pencil and just deepen that a bit. Maybe a little bit more like that. I need to lighten the center. That's what I'm missing here. So I'm going to go in with this guy here, the concealer. Oh my God, that's way too much. Wow. Have you ever even put makeup on before, Steph? <laughs> I should burn that out. Okay, I need to redo that because I have made a mess of this lip liner from like applying too many things. I like the color though. I'm gonna quickly redo that. So, and just like that, much better. So yeah, um, this is the finished look. It's very 90s. I was not expecting it to be this 90s when I started out. Like, I love a cool tone. I love a 90s lip and like a 90s eyeshadow and everything. But this, I feel like, I don't know, it's just fully taken me back to like a school disco and like, Pick a mix, and yeah, that's all That's all I basically went to the school discos for was the pick a mix. But yeah, I'm digging it. I mean, the makeup, like, there's a few things, like, okay, maybe it is a little bit, like, I'm doing the whole double chin thing. I feel like it's maybe a little bit warmer than the rest of my body. Maybe the foundation oxidized or something, or maybe I put too much bronzer on, which is a possibility. But this does not look like $1 makeup. I know a few of the products were a little bit more, but it's still cheap as hell to do a full face with this brand. And I'm really impressed. I think my favorites had to be the highlighter. The lashes and the lash glue were really, really good. I like the concealer, I like the foundation. Eyeshadow palette was nice, a little bit chalky, a little bit kind of dusty, but again, like you get so many shades for the money, so. I'm not gonna sit here and complain too much. Like overall, it was a good palette. The brow products were nice. Even the powder was nice. The only product I maybe wasn't so keen on, I mean, I wasn't 100% in love with the lip liner just purely because it was the wrong color, so it did throw me off a little bit. But the only other product that I didn't really love, or even, yeah, okay, to be fair, I didn't, I didn't really like this. I'm allowed to say that, I paid for it. I'm, I'm allowed to not enjoy a product. This was the She Makeup Matte Eyeliner. Again, I said it before, the actual product is fine, it's just the applicator is terrible. It's so like sharp and stabby and doesn't give you any wiggle room. But let's face it, it could be a whole lot worse. So yeah, this is how everything is looking at the moment, obviously being in quarantine and everything with it being later on in the day. I'm not gonna be doing too much with my day, let's face it, so I won't really be able to do a proper check-in, but I will include a little cutaway now to show you guys how it's looking in a few hours. I'll put on like, on screen what time it is and everything. But yeah, I'm very impressed, very, very impressed actually. I knew there was gonna be some hidden gems, but I did not expect literally almost every product to be this good. It's, it's great. So as always, I will of course leave all the products down below in the description box if you guys do wanna check them out. They are super cheap, so if you were in the market for anything, I highly recommend it. That makes it sound like it's sponsored, it's not. It's not. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up because it really does help me out a lot. And also subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.